Dope! Yeah! Rock and roll! Kumusta kayo? Hello and welcome back to MGN Diego. Ako po si Ovela and I am happy today because I am finally feeling like myself again. You know, I am almost healed like 100%. I'm still coughing just a little bit but my voice is kind of back. I got the energy back. Thank you for all the, uh, you know, wishes telling me to get healthy and get better. Thank you so much. I love you. Mwah! But for today's reaction, man, I've been looking for the Buwan from Juan Carlos. And apparently his name is Juan Carlos Labajo. Um, I was looking for his live performance of Buwan and I couldn't find it. But thanks to Patreon, one of my dear patrons, uh, Kimberly Scott, shout out to you for requesting a live performance from Juan Carlos. So I am pumped to react to this one. And it says, sings on thousands of crowd at Lipa City, Batangas. So there we go. I'm telling you, I am not over this song yet. And I will react to Regine's version of Buan and she will probably belt it out. So let's see, uh, you know, the live version of one song by the original singer. Let's do this. Woo! We got great quality in the house. Yes. I am sure that Juan Carlos is gonna give us a grungy version of Buan because he does not seem like the ballad, the ballad singing type, you know, of Filipino. He is a rock star. I didn't recognize him because his hair is longer and it's tied. And I didn't know that he played guitar, so... But it makes sense. Is this Buwan? Because I don't recognize it. it. I mean, it could be, and he's just changed it, changed it up, you know, a lot for uh, for the live stage. Did someone hit the cameraman? <laughs> There we go, now I recognize it. Damn, see the grunge in his voice? Ah, growl. I'm a fan of the uh, logo of the Lipa Love Fest. I love the fact that they put it in that uh, very thin rectangle. It actually reminds me a little bit of uh, the designs that I make for uh, Music Game News. And I love the heart, you know, the rectangular kind of heart behind. Awesome.
Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So that was the intro to Buan. Was it another song? If this was his concert, you know, he should end with uh, La Bu uh, Buan so that, you know, the people, you know, stay until the end of the show. That's what artists usually do. They don't start with their most popular track. They finish with it, you know, so that they could finish with a bang, obviously. Look at the guy with his tripod, mini tripod. <laughs> He's a funny dude, huh? Yeah. Ah, the moon, because I know it has something to do with the moon, right? Nice. Yeah, make that guitar cry. Where did he go? Woo! Mm. Oh, he went to play the guitar with his uh, guitarist. Nice. Is his guitarist a woman or a guy? I can't really tell. I just know that that person has long hair, but from the quality of the video, you can't really tell. And then the person sounds like a woman. song meant to be funny as well because the way he is delivering it in a he's delivering it in a funny way as well you know there's a lot of emotion you can tell but he's also trying to be funny somehow i don't know what the hell <laughs> <laughs> He's so strange. I love artists like this, you know, artists with a personality, you know, with character. Artists that are not afraid to be themselves and they're not afraid to to be different, you know. That's how you leave a mark. That's how people remind uh, remember you.
They're singing. Okay, you just stop in the middle. I think it's a woman, yeah, the guitarist is a woman. I think. I still can't tell, man. Maybe not. Sounds like feedback, but it's not. That's a guitar, right? Yeah, sounds like a guitar. Mm. Yeah, the grunge, the distortion is crazy on the guitar. He's feeling it. Damn, that's amazing. Oh my God, he's going ham. Wow. I love I love how much he's into, you know, his music and and into, you know, the the way he plays his guitar. Like you can tell there is so much love. He loves what he does, man. is a rock star man i did not expect that and that is why i loved it so much i was like what is this what is this thing he's trying to do was this a bridge no well i guess you could count it as a bridge you know but this was basically the surprise you know before the uh the drop you know again oh it was so good i loved it i loved it look at him The moon. so strange I 
actually, actually, I should not say that he's strange. He's just special. I think that's the term that should be used. Special. Like, who am I to say that he's strange? Maybe the people that conform to society rules are strange, you know? And the other people who are themselves are the, you know, normal ones. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Salamat po. Well, well, well. This was awesome. This is a guy who does what he wants to do. He does not conform. He does not care at all. As you can see. I mean, even his music video for Buan was special, you know, and it panned out. It was a dope music video. The song is fantastic. Obviously, this version, live version, sounds a lot more free, you know. He took a lot of, uh, he took risks, you know, playing it live. He made it funny. He, you know, added the bridge. He wanted to surprise the public. And I think it really panned out. I love seeing an artist uh, be themselves on stage. I mean, James Brown, you know, James Brown, when he did his crazy dances and everything, like that was so special. And that's what people uh, remember him for, you know, or Michael Jackson. When you think Michael Jackson, yes, he was a very talented singer, but you remember his weird, you know, quirks like hee hee. And, uh, you know, the fact that he danced and, you know, held his crotch or the moonwalk, you know, these are specific traits of an artist that does not conform to uh, society's, uh, you know, rules or whatever. And that is why they are so special. And I encourage, encourage all artists out there to be themselves no matter what. And I heard that Juan Carlos competed uh, with Darren Espanto on The Voice, I think. And they were pretty young and it's so interesting to see, uh, you know, their e evolution. Like Darren Espanto went the pop way, I guess, the belter way, the boy band way, even though he's not in a boy band, but still the way you see him dance on stage and everything. You know, he reminds me of he reminds me of boy bands or Justin Bieber type of you know artists. But Juan Carlos, he went the opposite way. He went the I don't know, man. I don't know. I I don't really have an example in mind of um, a solo rock star artist. You know, uh, popular one these days. I don't know. I mean, there are, but I just can't think of one. But yeah, basically Juan Carlos was like, nah, I'm not gonna fit the uh, OPM mold, I guess. And I'm just gonna be me. I'm gonna make music the way I like it. I'm gonna try to invent a genre almost, you know? And I encourage him to keep doing that because this Buan track is a hit, a definite hit hit and i actually would be interested to hear a buan version in english you know an english version of buan that would work as well so maybe that would be a good idea to make a, an english version of buan so that they can also promote it internationally uh but yeah so there you have it this was amazing there was a lot of people watching him on stage it was a lot of fun so again thank you to kimberly scott for uh, requesting this video on Patreon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. 
have a great day guys and i will catch you in the next video as usual peace out thanks for watching remember to like the video subscribe here and wonderful things will happen and turn on your notification bell to be poked for future content yeah, yeah, yeah.